Now we have uh, our footer and uh, header set up for our template page. The next thing we need to do is on the template page, I've got my template page still open, is we need to set up something called an editable region. Actually we're going to set up two of these. Editable regions are the spaces on the template pages where any child page, in other words any HTML page based on this template can enter and change things. So basically what we're going to be doing is you can't, if you create a page based on this template, you won't be able to change the banner or the footer or any of the background colors because you want those to stay the same, but you do want people to be able to change the content. So I'm going to go into the area called main content. I'm going to delete this dummy uh, text that's put in by Dreamweaver. And what I want to do is I want to make this an editable region. So I want in any HTML page based on this template, I want to be able to enter images, text, any sort of content. Down the bottom, if I click on the division, main content, so I've made sure I've actually selected that. Uh, and as you can see, there's blue lines going around it. So selecting the division, I now go into insert, template objects, editable region. And I come up with this little prompt saying, how, what do you want to name this region? So I'm just going to call it main content. Okay, so now I've got an area of my template page where any HTML page based on this, uh, can you can actually put in content into it. I'm going to put some prompts uh, just to, if somebody else was working on it, so they know what they could put in there. So I'm expecting a page title and some content. And just to make it a little easier, I don't like the big page title, I'm going to make that heading 2. So that's just a prompt, and we'll see what that, how that appears in a moment. So that's one editable region, so content can be put in the HTML pages can be put in there. I also want to make this sidebar, um, I'm going to give that some content as well. So I'm just going to um, put the cursor in there and I'm going to create an editable region in this area as well. So if I click on uh, the sidebar, so I've selected the sidebar area down the bottom and I put insert template objects editable region and I'm going to call this sidebar that's the same thing so now I've got my sidebar area uh, this I'm going to make the, the title so some sort of title for the sidebar and this part here is going to be where the content goes this title is h3 let's just make it a little bit smaller so now it's h4 so that's going to be the sidebar content maybe that's for adverse or special promotions something different than the main content on the page. Uh, so at this point I just need to uh, save my template. I'm going to do control and S to save it. Uh, and basically my template page is ready to use. So now I can create new pages from it. So let's go and do that. So I'm going to create a child page, an HTML page based on this. So I do file new. And now I'm going to click the option page from template and it defaults at the top to my the current website and it shows me all the templates available you can see I've created some others but this is the one we've just created a little thumbnail of it there so let's do create now I'm actually in an HTML page let's save it as an HTML page let's just do save uh, I'm going to make this the first page the index page in my website so the index page always goes in the root folder it's in this is the root folder here computer crazy index.html and I'll do save um, I've already got one there but let's put this one in here okay so now I've got uh, my basic index page and now I need to set it up I'm just going to change this to I don't know welcome to computer crazy some other text so that's there now the content uh, to make it easier for the actual case study, you've already been given some content. If you like computer crazy, you've given the text they want to appear on the first page. And it's here, it's in the library folder. And I've actually put the Word document that's been given to us here. I'm just going to paste in 
the stuff from here. So you just do normal cut and paste or copy and paste. So I'm going to copy this, Control C. I don't need that open anymore. Go back to Dreamweaver and just paste it. So now I have the basic welcome page in there, and if I wanted, I could put in a few images. Uh, let's just do one roughly. If I put in a game, I just dragged it over. Press OK. A bit large, I can resize it. I can actually use a bit of um, CSS formatting on that image as well. At the moment, it's placed there, uh, doesn't look particularly good. There's a class, a CSS style called floating. We'll cover these in a later you know, tutorial, but I'm going to make the image float to the left of the text. So I click on this area, and so I've got my image there. That's all I'm going to do for the moment. So let's just have a look at what the page looks like. Uh, let's have it in Internet Explorer. Okay, so this is my first HTML page, just roughly, obviously it's not finished, based on my template. As you can see, the banner and the header are there, and the text is in there as well. So that's all I really needed for that. And as you can see, you can, this HTML, I'm still on the HTML page in Dreamweaver, I can click here, I can click in here, these are the editable regions. But if I try and click in the banner, you see you get this, this stop sign up here. And the same would be at the footer, and that means that they can't be changed in this HTML page, you would have to go back and change them on the original template. 